Hi friends, welcome to your Wake Up Yoga Flow in Set, France. If you're ready to boost mobility and build strength, today is an amazing way to get the body moving, wake up the mind, and get you ready to start the rest of your day. So just grab your mat and let's go ahead and do some yoga. So let's start, my friends, in an easy pose with one leg crossed in front of the other. Sitting up tall with the crown of the head stacked over your tailbone. Just imagine yourself lengthening up towards the universe. Squeezing the belly in, resting your palms on top of your knees with the palms facing up. And just take this moment to relax the body as you breathe. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, releasing the breath out. Relaxing your shoulders down and away from your ears. Just focus on breathing to unlock any tension out of the body, any stiffness, any stress that you're feeling. And again, breathe in. And exhale, breathe all the way out. I know on your next inhale, start to take movement into the arms. As you open them wide, reach them all the way up towards the sky palms together on the exhale, and then plant your left hand down and reach your right arm up and over. We're focusing right now on opening the right side body through the rib cage as we create space and length. You can walk your bottom hand a little bit further away here so you get a deeper stretch as you look up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach the right hand a little bit further. And on your next inhale, you're gonna drop your right hand on your left knee, pick up your left hand and stretch it over towards the right side. So we have a counter pose stretch, still looking up towards the sky here, feeling this nice opening through the left side body, through those intercostal muscles, the muscles between the rib cage. Deep breath in. Exhale, reach a little bit further with those fingertips. Drop your left hand on your right knee. Straighten your body into center. And then down to your chest. Nice opening through the back of your neck. Deep breath in. Inhale, slowly release as you open your arms all the way back up towards the sky, reaching as tall as you can. Exhale, palms together, and then drop your right hand down as you reach the left arm up and over. Being mindful that both of your sit bones are grounded on the mat, looking up towards the top arm, squeezing the belly button in, deep breath in, and long breath out. Drop your left hand on your right knee, Pick up your right arm and reach it over towards the left side. So we're really focusing on opening through the side body right now. A great way to improve the lung capacity. And it doesn't happen so often where we open our side body. So this is really important to really create more space, more freedom into the body, which allows more freedom into your daily life reaching over. Drop your right hand on your left knee so your arms are crisscross as you come into center, tall. Inhale, let your head fall back as you look up. And exhale, dropping chin down towards your chest. Take a deep breath in. And long breath out. Releasing your arms again, we're gonna inhale, open the arms, welcoming this opportunity, this beautiful day ahead. And then exhale, taking your hands into prayer and drop your hands on top of your knees. Cat and cow, as you inhale, open your heart, let the head fall back as you're in a cow. And exhale, angry cat, we're gonna round our spine, taking our chin to our chest. Great way to warm up our spinal cord. As you inhale, open your chest, let the head fall back. And exhale, round it back as you take your chin towards your chest, looking towards your belly button. Inhale, arching, open up your heart, head falls back. 
exhale, rounding the spine, angry cat. Inhale, movement and breath as we open the heart into cow. And exhale, rounding the spine into angry cat. Sitting up nice and tall. We're going to bring our legs behind us into tabletop position. Tuck your toes behind you and lift your knees off the mat into bear pose. We're going to press our hips back on the exhale into a modified downward dog so you keep the knees bent. And then inhale, hover back into bear. Exhale, shift the weight back with the knees bent. And then come back into bear on the hover. So we're starting to wake up the abs, fire up the core center here. Inhale, coming into bear, hovering the knees. Exhale, press it back, keeping the knees bent. Inhale, breathe in as you hover. And exhale, push it back. Extending your legs now, you're gonna pedal out your feet one at a time as you walk out your downward dog. Really lifting your heel all the way up onto your toes and pushing the opposite heel as close to Mother Earth as you can to really feel the stretch through the back of your legs. Improving circulation into the lower body and boosting flexibility into those hamstrings here, into the calf muscles. Allow movement into the head. So you loosen up the neck, any tightness, any stiffness that you're feeling into the upper body. As your hips shift all the way back, so you're in an upside down V shape here. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, long breath out. Push your hips back, straighten your legs in your downward dog. Keep your right hand planted and take your left hand on the outer edge of your right calf muscle as you take a revolve downward dog twist, looking up underneath that right armpit towards the sky. Take a deep breath in as you press those heels back. And exhale out. Release, left hand down and right hand reaches towards the left calf muscle as you look up towards the sky. Really twisting from the belly button. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Untwist, coming back into your downward dog. We're gonna bend our knees, lift the heels, look to the front, and walk your feet towards your hands at the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up into standing position as the head is last to come up. And then open your arms, reach them up towards the sky. Exhale, taking your hands down to your heart. Place your feet together, arms along the side of the body into a mountain pose. And bend your knees, sweep the arms, reach them up towards the sky, deep breath in as you take a little back bend. And exhale, swan dive it down towards your mat. Inhale as you halfway lengthen, and exhale, hop or step back into plank position, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Breathe it out. On your next inhale, you're gonna reach your right leg up towards the sky into your three-legged dog. And just focus here on your breath as you take your right knee in towards your chest, really trying to touch your nose, knee to nose, drop your right knee down, lift your left leg up so it's in height with your hip, and then drop your left toes down as you flex that foot, hug the right knee in, and kick it back up, three-legged dog. Inhale, take right knee to nose, drop the right knee down, lift the left leg, flex the foot as you tap it down, Hug the right knee in and kick it back up, three-legged dog. Keep moving with me here as you take right knee to nose, feel the core, drop the right knee down, lift the left leg up, flex the foot as you drop the toes, hug the knee in, kick it back up, three-legged dog. Inhale, right knee to nose, tap it down, lift the left leg, flex the foot and drop it down, right knee in, and kick it back up into three-legged dog. Coming through, right knee to nose, tap it down, lift the left leg, and hold it here. 
as we extend our right arm forward into a bird dog. Focus on keeping the back straight by squeezing the belly in so your core is nice and engaged here. Reaching the fingers away from the toes so you have one long line. You're gonna inhale, lengthen, and exhale, open the arm and the leg out towards the side so we get into the obliques. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open. Inhale, center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, bird dog. Exhale, open. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, bird dog. Exhale, open. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, hold your bird dog now. Squeeze the belly button in. Drop your right hand down and take four tricep push-ups as you bend the elbows. Point those toes behind you for one. Push back up for two. And push back up for three. And last one for four. Flex your left toes, drop it down. Hug your right knee in towards your chest for one. Tap it down. Inhale, squeeze it in for two. Tap down. Squeeze it in for three. Bring it down. And squeeze it in for four as you hold it in here. Step the right foot to meet the left into your plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press it back. Downward facing dog. Breathe it all out. On your inhale, we're gonna roll through one vertebrae at a time, coming through into your plank position. Exhale, push your hips back, downward dog. Inhale, wave-like motion, like body waves here as you come through into plank. And exhale, push it back, downward dog. Keep your feet and your hands still as you just wave your body through plank. Exhale, press back. Inhale, coming through into plank. Squeeze the belly in. And exhale, push it back. And again, just keep moving and breathing here. Plank. Exhale, push it back. On your next inhale, you raise your left leg up towards the sky. Point your toes. Really open through those inner thighs. And then you're going to take your left knee towards your nose. Really try to squeeze it in. Drop the left knee down. Right toes lift up as high as your hip. Drop the right toes down as you flex the foot. Left knee towards chest. Kick it back into three-legged dog. Inhale, left knee towards your nose. Left knee comes down. Right leg lifts up. Flex the foot. Drop the toes. Hug the left knee in. Kick it back, three-legged dog. Inhale, knee to nose. Tap it down. Right leg lifts. Flex the foot as you drop it down. Left knee hugs in. Kick it back up. Three-legged dog. Inhale, left knee towards nose. Drop it down. Raise the right leg up. Flex the foot as you drop it down. Hug the left knee in. Kick it back up. Three-legged dog. Bring the left knee in towards your nose. Drop the left knee down. Lift the right leg up. Stay here and extend your left arm forward. Keep your gaze looking down towards your mat so your head is in line with your spine and you're in one straight long line, reaching the fingers away from the toes as you squeeze that belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, lengthen long. Exhale, open arm and leg out towards the side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, center. Exhale, open. Squeeze those obliques. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, center. Exhale, open. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, hold your bird dog now. Feeling strong in the abs as you drop your left hand down, going through the upper body strength as you take your four tricep push-ups for one. Point those toes back behind you. 
two, push down, three, bending the elbows in towards the ribs for four, flex your right toes, drop it down and squeeze your left knee in towards your chest for one, tap it down, squeeze it in for two, tap it down, squeeze it in for three, bring it down, and last one, hold it here. Step the left foot to meet the right plank. Flow it out, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, push it back. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, breathe it all out. Inhale, we're gonna wave like through into your plank position. Bend your knees, push your hips back, extend your legs and wave like through back into plank. So it's like what we did before, bend your knees, push the hips back, extend the legs, and wave like through into plank. Just follow along with me. Just how we waved from plank into downward dog, but we're just adding a little bit more movement into the body with our breath here. Really waking up the brain, getting you ready to have a productive day ahead of you. Plank, bend your knees, push back, keep the knees bent in downward dog, and then you extend the legs and wave like through back into plank. Bend the knees, push back, extend the legs, and last round here. Plank, bend the knees, push back, extend, hold it here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, breathe it out. Bend your knees, lift the heels, look to the front. Hop and land in a seated position at the front of your mat. We're going to take our legs, soles of the feet onto the mat. You have a pyramid shape with your knees here. Hands beside the hips and lift your body up into reverse tabletop position. As your head falls back, squeeze your glutes. Squeezing the legs together, deep breath in, long breath out, and slowly start to lower the hips all the way down on towards your mat. Straighten your legs in front of you. We're doing a lot of arm strength today. Our last final posture for strength here, we're going to take a deep breath in, and exhale, use the power of your breath to lift your hips up towards the sky as you point those toes in front of you. Squeeze those glutes, lift the pelvis as high as you can as your head falls back behind you. Hold it here, deep breath in, and long breath out. Lower the hips all the way down onto your mat and have a seat in crisscross applesauce. Sit up really tall here. Imagine yourself that you're lengthened through your torso taller than you were when you started. Closing off this practice, we're gonna inhale and open our arms wide, reach them up towards the sky. Exhale, take your hands into prayer down to your heart. Inhale, open up, reaching the arms all the way up towards the sky. And exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, open up the arms, reach up towards the sun. And then exhale, palms together down in front of your heart, thanking yourself for making it to your yoga practice to do something amazing for your mind and your body. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to Yena Yoga and give me a thumbs up. Namaste.